You are entering the parkbooks.com domain. Welcome. Welcome to this week's episode of The Perceptive Readers, a podcast series made in the Product of Culture, aka Parkbooks website's office. Hi, I'm James. Yes, perceptive readers, this topic today will not only be fun for some of you, but also can be addicting. That was the reason for the disclaimer beforehand. Yes, the subject that I'm actually talking about happens to be the song Wildfire that came out by Lek which represents the official League of Legends European Championship. You see those persons. And also uh, against the current, yes, with uh, Will and Dan and Chrissy Costanza. However, with this making of the new song, have you heard it yet, called Wildfire? They have some other special guests. Some persons have said that, you know, they can sing but they don't have their own album, well, you can actually take a look. I'm looking up their name right now. (laughs) I I was thinking about as I was looking up their name. You're probably saying, oh, shouldn't you know their names? You know, people are already asking, why don't they have an album out? Well, for me, this was my first time actually hearing uh, these persons. Give me a second as I pull up the video and get their name off the video. Yes, it's Andrew, and I don't know if I'm saying his middle pronunciation game name or maybe real name, Vidius Day, that's Andrew Vidius Day, and Daniel Dracos, who are also uh, singing and rapping on this new Wildfire song that came out for the 2022 spring promo, you see, of the uh, gamer trials and championships and things of that nature now the song was so good see that's why i want to mention this as you know even though i am immune uh to the fanboy and you know jumping up and down all that other good stuff to go with you know (laughs) many persons who just go crazy and listen to against the current music but The reason why I wanted to still uh, bring this song up because following along those same lines from, remember, Legends Never Die, and you know Christian Costanza has already seen at the championship twice, it goes to show, as was was mentioned many times before by, let me uh, pull up my website here. Because I got the quote here. Yes, by Alex Seaver of Mako. And when, you know, he was one of the persons that said, when we heard Chris's voice, we knew there was something special right away. And see, that continues on that it's almost like if you want an awesome anthem for a show, for a sports event, or what have you, uh, they, against the current, they got the stuff. Uh, you see that you need. They got the voice. They got the dance. Uh, they got the attitude, if you will, for what you need. And they have shown it time and time again. And so with that, I just want to say, hey, I already gave you the disclaimer, but this song, Wildfire, it is really, uh, once again, a uh, awesome beat. The words have a lot of, you know, meaning to them. And as you know, again, it's just like sports. You say things in sports. It's a battle cry, if you will, but you're reasonable people. So you know how to keep (laughs) what's being said with the song and fitting it towards your trials and your motivation and your determination in life to overcome your obstacles. Now, speaking of obstacles, why is Wild's Fire so, once again, uh, enjoyed other than the beat and the bands, the group that are singing it? It's because of the League of Legends, you see, a gaming community. And when you think about 
uh, the game. You see League of Legends if you've ever played it. I'm going to share this one thing um, with you. I had the opportunity uh, uh, recently within the past uh, couple of months to at least uh, go through the tutorial to see, you know, uh, really what it was all about. Once again, I've always, you know, I, I'll watch some of the shows and things of nature at that time, you know, the, the same way I watch any other sport at times, you know, I've, I've done that. Uh, for me, those are real time strategy games, uh, in times past, you see, I played different brands. Uh, that I won't mention them here, the brands that I played in my younger days. So, you know, I actually just have an aptitude for it. I've enjoyed it in recreational, uh, um, you know, times. I've enjoyed it in uh, some competitive times, uh, so to speak. But now, you see, uh, at this point in my life, I, I mostly, you know, can sit back and just <laughs> live through the experience of other persons at times. I don't necessarily, necessarily, you know, become as what could have been put in the disclaimer, addicted to it, you see. Uh, and so that's a part of it too. So you got to do things with balance, but I wanted to mention my experience with it. I, I played several, uh, of the, uh, characters. Like I told you, I went through the tutorial and everything, and I think I played, uh, at least a, a five games. I think I played at least five games. And now this has nothing to do with my skill, what I'm about to tell you. But, uh, when I played in the team setting, I, I we won every single one of them. Okay. And so, hey, for all we, I know, <laughs> we could have had one of the champions playing on that team and it probably was nothing to do. Uh, with me as I was just uh, figuring out those um, uh, characters and their powers. But it was something that, again, I looked into because l let's say, you know, uh, I go into uh, a different type of uh, uh, writing mode like I've done in times past, uh, where sometimes I can go into uh, like a writing mode and then set aside some time each, you know, each week or or for an hour or two, you know, uh, late evening or something like that to wind down. Or, you know, back in the day, well, you know, you might play a game or so and, and just uh, relax in that way. I actually have uh, one uh, uh, app that I use right now in another way that really gives me that uh, winding down release that I, I enjoyed uh, so much. I won't mention it here. But... As far as being able to still uh, uh, get some excitement, excitement, boy, League of Legends is certainly there. And yet at the same time, as a disclaimer, hey, you got to make sure you keep a balance because I could see how that game could become very addictive uh, <laughs> on top of that. So it's just something to think about. And with that statement of addiction, I would say that song, Wildfire Fire is just as <laughs> addicting as that game is, you see. So that tells you something right there. There, it's a hit and it goes to show once again the, uh, range, uh, uh, the talent, uh, against the current, uh, the writers who produce this song. Uh, the, once again, the special guest, uh, singers on the, uh, song Wildfire as well. And see, and just that word wildfire, it means you see so many things and aspects. And you know, I've written about different songs on wildfire. I've talked about it. Even, you know, you see it in poetic language from other people. It's just a wonderful word. You see, uh, overall, when we're speaking metaphorically, to really express yourself on this is what I mean. And if you want to know more about the background of how Chrissy Costanza feels about the song Wildfire, you can go to the Lick YouTube channel, you see, and actually see or listen to the behind the scenes uh, making of that song and expressions, okay? So there you go. I just wanted to share that with you. You have a very wonderful, wonderful day. Wildfire.